Oh my goodness, you're a little hippie chick. Check you out in your plaid pants. Can I have these? Okay. Do we have everything, including our cocktails this time? I don't know. Y'all, every time we try to leave the house, it is like I get halfway down the road. We do gotta stop. Um, the girl that works for us and we gotta drop her payday off and we got to drop off a hard drive that's got new prints for new shirts going up on the website. Then, did you tell them what we're doing? No, I just sh showed her a little hippie chick back here. Yeah, he loves it because I got her in bell bottoms. It's so cute. Plaid bell bottoms at that. I found them at Walmart. They was like $3.48. So, score, win for mama and Cece. We are heading to Lowe's right now. You guys seen our window or doors in our big living room, the, t the front door and the back door to it is nothing but glass. It's got those little, we got to get some thick blackout curtains because it is letting so much cold air in with the linen curtains that I got up. So, you know, times are crazy. Bills are high, groceries, everything's high. And if it'll help us in the slightest save on our electric bill throughout the winter, we're going to get some hardcore blackout curtains if we can find them. We are also trying, we've got to get us a bigger propane heater because the one we have just ain't cutting it. It's very tiny. It was in the house when we bought it. We're actually gonna move that one down here to our shop. And we got the split unit in the shop. We're gonna see how it goes, keeping it warm enough. But I'm thinking January, it's probably gonna need a little bit of propane. So we'll probably put that one down here. So we got to try to find us a um, propane heater too, with at least 32,000 BTUs to keep our entire house warm. If the power goes out, the little one will not do it. It just won't. It don't cover enough square foot. So that's the mission for today. We are trying to find curtains and uh, a propane heater. I don't know what the deal is. Like, it's supposed to be in the 40s all next week and you guys, nobody here locally has propane heaters out. Like, I don't know what's going on. There's Memo. Hi, you going bye-bye? <sighs> Tell me why I look how handsome you look. You look so pretty. And Cece's got bell bottoms on. Give me that. i put it right there. I wanted to show you guys. This will be up on the website by the time y'all see this video. Peach, Bella, and Canvas sweatshirt. Who you meeting Well, this is just one of the prints that'll be on the, with this style who? sweater. Listen. What? Who are you meeting at the pumpkin patch? Well, not you, because you just interrupted me. Wow! Wow! <laughs> She's mind blown by all the inflatables. You see more? So you sure about this? Yes. I mean, it's an investment, but we'll have it the rest of our lives. And see here, this one's 30,000 BTU and it does 1,200 square foot. So that will keep our entire house warm. If the power goes out, our whole house will be warm. Power went out and we only had our little one. Water lines freezing and everything. That'll help keep the floors warm everything well that little one's only 10,000 BTU and it's got this little grate over it so it'll definitely keep little turkey fingers out of it yes that too yeah I'm talking about you buddy what are you throwing a fit about over here I see you I see you <laughs> you're silly are you gonna you gonna go help your mama look for curtains that's his way of saying yes. So we sat there and talked, and I guess we've agreed we're gonna get the big one. The smaller one they have, it's 20 something, uh, does 800 square foot. We always use propane. Electric heat is just not warm enough to me. Electric heat is costly, so I would much rather use my gas. We we'll end up over the years saving money by doing that. But me and Colton are going to find curtains while dad and sis, we gotta go all the way back to the house. And Sean has to come all the way back and get it. So we didn't bring two vehicles and we should have. It's too big for my car. I always run into this problem where we have those two big old windows and then the two big doors. I like my curtains to match because I'm OCD and that's just how it is. These, they have four of, that will do the two big doors, but they only have four. So I'm trying to find something that will match this color, but that to me is just two different things going on driving me crazy. But that's the problem I'm running into and I want to stick to blackout on all of them. Did you get it? Yes. Oh, oh you're all done? You're just wanting down to run. Oh. You just want down. Honey, somebody's trying to get past you. Oh, oh you're fine. Sorry. You're fine. 
All right, I'll hold you. You're not getting down. Well, you guys, we decided to try Bob Evans this time. Come on, little girl. Little hippie chick. This, this <laughs> idea with the suckers was a bad idea. You reckon? Yeah, he's sticky. From well, she dog. is too, so that's okay. We are going to grab some food here and then head back to the house because Sean has to get the truck and come back over and get the heaters. The last one that they had. I don't know when they're going to get more. I don't know what the deal is. This is a cute little restaurant. I don't think I've ever been in here before. If I do, I don't remember. They got these quirky little straws for the kids. They're cute. Sean's face says it all right now. <sighs> We're still sitting and wait, 30 minutes in. It's been 45. I ain't a complainer, but. Yay! Her patience is wearing off too. Colton, would you quit eating the crayon? <laughs> Take it. Shoo! Well, that took an hour and a half. The food was okay. It really was. The food was okay. It was just, I think they're really understaffed. And it's at a point where it's just, it's a struggle. It should not take an hour and a half. But they was When there was like four people in the whole restaurant eating, four tables. That was it. And it took an hour and a half to get our food and eat and get out. Well, every single person was either going to the, like I got one drink when I was in I there. I think they only have one waitress. And, um... It's struggle bus right now. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I feel like everybody was like kind of spaced out and didn't know what they were supposed to be doing because I waited tables for years and uh, I could have had, yeah, I could have, everybody would have had their food. <laughs> Might have just been one of those days. I hate to put any business down. You know how that is. Could have just been one of them days that could have been severely understaffed. People didn't show up, but we are heading back to the house now. That's a good 35, 40 minute drive. Then Sean has to get straight back in the truck and head straight back over here, another 45 minutes, pick up the fireplace and drive back. So he's gonna be gone until probably six o'clock. Here's the deal with the curtains. It got a little chaotic there as well. Colton was getting tired of sitting there. I found four panels to go over the big front doors and the big back doors that I'm hoping will be wide enough to cover. And I found enough to go over the big, long, tall windows, but they, they didn't have enough. So like that is always my problem at Lowe's with the curtains. I love Pikeful, y'all. It's like, Sean does it because of the traffic and I don't either. We just, neither one of us like heavy traffic at all. I'm getting to the point I don't even like leaving the house. Oh yeah, well we can't become just pure old hermit crabs, okay? I can. No, you can't. I, I, I want to pull We have a business to run and things to do. Well, I know. And, and every bit of that can be done right from the house or on our property. No, we have to come to Lowe's to get things for the business quite often. We, I'm thinking from now on, you got a mouse in your pocket when you do the wee thing. Hey, for, to be a woman, Lowe's is one of my favorite stores. Walmart's curtains, their blackout curtains are okay, but when you go to wash them, the ones I got in the past, I haven't bought any blackout curtains from Walmart in probably like eight years, because the last pair I did get, I washed them, and the whole back side of it, it's kind of like that foamy plastic stuff, but it destroyed them, and I was like, yeah, I ain't doing that no more. I blame you for this. That's why I look like this, and I'm not ashamed. I'm in jogging pants, too. You My phone ain't around. even out here. Well, you need to get it and turn the ringer on. Ooh, They're supposed to call back. It must have been a morning. Y'all, let me just tell you. The reason you're here now with us on a different day is because that thing would not fit in my car. So we had to drive 45 minutes back, pick up the truck, drive 45 minutes back, pick that booger up and drive another 45 minutes back home. So we were on the road just until nine o'clock last night and it was way too late. The kids, they stayed with Debbie the second trip back cause they were done being in the car. So Sean's mom kept them till we got, but when we got home, they were like, I'm done with this day, I'm ready for bed. So that's what we done. This morning has been a trip though, you guys. Garbage, since the flood, they lost trucks. It's hard for them to keep workers right now and stuff. It, this place is still mess, but they haven't picked our garbage up in two weeks. I finally got a hold of them. It was a new driver. I guess we're the last house in the hauler, and so he hadn't been coming up here the last two weeks, but they're going to let him know, and hopefully they will be here tomorrow to pick up our two weeks worth of garbage. Besides that, one of the machines this morning. Not one. 
well, not one, both mm. of the machines was acting crazy this morning. So Sean was down there for four hours working on them and went through hundreds of dollars of ink and finally got them fixed. A shirt order for some of the orders. I kept looking and I'm like, okay, I told Lori, I said, send me the inventory list. Weren't there, I called, it kept trying to track the package. It wouldn't work, it kept taking me to a blank page. So I called the company and he was like, yeah, it's doing me the same way. These are backup orders because this is twice, twice. He's like, I'll try to get it figured out. He's like, we're working on it, but it's already been took out of my bank account. You guys have already paid. So this is just frustrating. They're supposed to call us back in 30 minutes and let us know what they figured out. Here's my solution. Repack my stuff and send it out because we never got it. Oh, I feel like s sometimes like, why is everything just extra difficult anymore? It used to be so simple. You want to talk about extra difficult? This thing has to be put together. Yes, it does. You didn't know that? No. Sean, most of it, you got to put the fire pit together. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is in sections. Mercy. Foam. Can, can I tell you how much I hate foam? Especially the, the one that I beads had. up and blows everywhere. Do you need help? I was half thinking that this was all together in the box and then all we had to do was take it out of the box and set it up. Look, Ikea 2.0 here. All right, so I guess I'm putting this together. You broke it already. Yay! That one is 32,000 BTUs, so it will do a heck of a lot more than that teeny weeny little thing will. Propane is our main source of heat, so this right here, score. Now it'll be hooked up tomorrow, hopefully. That one's getting removed and going down to the shop for backup in case the power goes out, because we got the split unit. But if the power goes out, we definitely need backup because of the ink and lines on our machine. So Sean can sit down there and babysit propane if he had to. They'll be here tomorrow or Thursday. He said he's pretty sure Wednesday. If not, he'll be here Thursday to run the new lines and hook that up. And it's supposed to be in the 30s and 40s next week. So just in time. Okay, so hours later we decided we didn't like the um mantle here the fireplace here because it, it looked bulky setting out because of this dip here so we we done a thing we removed the entertainment center put the tv on its stand and now the fire going with the tv it looks better it's not as bulky the tv is leaning backwards a little bit because of the stand now but it's fine we're happy with it. Ain't no cords showing. Everything is in its place for good. Because I think Sean lost a 
his mind if we had to do anything else. But as far as my curtains, you see they are the same. I put the new ones up. They're the same exact length, but they're those, the grommet rings. And it made them shorter, and I didn't have enough to do that one and that one. So, we either got to swap out or go return those and swap out or get more. So, that is the deal with that. I'm super excited for them to get here and hook the fireplace up. But now it's smooth sailing. It's not sitting. It was sitting out like way out here. It just looked funny. It has been 48 hours nearly trying to get all this done and dealt with and a lot of other things with business. But I'm tired. Sean's tired. We're going to figure out what's for dinner because that, what should have took an hour, ended up turning into four-ish by the time he had to go to Frazier's. Had to run to Walmart. We tried a TV mount. Did not work because I think there's brick behind that wall. So it's just been one of them. So it is time to feed these kids and get ourselves bathed and get in the bed. We will see you on the next one. We love y'all. Stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots.